I wanted to donate a kidney. So I pursued it online. I passed all the tests, even the psychological one. And they said, yes, we'll find someone for you. A few days later, they called and said, we have someone. June of 2012, I had abdominal pain and they took pictures and said, it's just an incisional hernia from where we took the kidney. Another doctor happened to look at the pictures and he said, there's something on your pancreas that concerns me. Mayo found a precancerous tumor, non-symptomatic, on my pancreas. So what it comes down to is, if I hadn't donated my kidney, which then formed an incisional hernia, which then required pictures being taken, which then found the non-symptomatic tumor that would have killed me, I'd be dead right now. Jesse was born with cystic fibrosis. This was a lung disease that he battled his entire life. We started looking into the potential for getting an organ donation. Um, he needed a double lung transplant. On November 1, 2010, we actually got the call. It gave us five additional years with Jesse that we wouldn't have otherwise had, had we not been able to receive that gift from the donor. My child wouldn't have known his father, and that is very important to me, that he did get that extra time with him, and that he did get to know him and let him have memories that he wouldn't have otherwise had. My wife, Jill, was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in 2008. She had to go through the chemo and the radiation. Then they started finding spots on her liver and some constrictions and other things. And we've come to the point now that Jill has stage four cirrhosis of the liver. So we are now been placed on the transplant list. Being on the transplant list is a process. They have to uh, do a number of tests because these donated organs are so valuable. Some people wonder if there are any restrictions, if there's any reason why you can't donate. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, I smoked and drank for years. I'm too old. The only thing you worry about now is sign up to be a donor. The rest will take care of itself. There's a whole walk of life of people that are in need and anybody can be a donor. My passion is to have encourage people to have the conversation now while they're alive and healthy. It's a huge gift you can give your family to already have those decisions made. Think of how you've invested yourself into society when you're willing to give a part of yourself to someone you may not even know. You can save eight lives by noting your organs after you're dead. Organs, tissue, eye, bone, skin, anything can pretty much be donated to anyone to help make their lives a little bit better. Register now, no matter your age or your health, at iowadonornetwork.org.